video, I will show you how to practice clear shot in badminton. There are two types of clear shot in badminton. Number one is offensive clear. Number two is defensive clear. Let's talk about offensive clear. Offensive clear is where you hit the shadow fast and deep toward the baseline of your opponent's court. The purpose is to put your opponent into out of position or to put the body in the shadow behind your opponent. That way, you will have better opportunity to gain the attack. Number two is defensive clear. Defensive clear is where you hit the shadow nice and high toward the baseline of your opponent's court. The purpose is to allow you to have more time to return to the center and get ready for the second shot. This shot may also can be used to slow down the pace of your opponent's strategy. Alright, now let's take a look of short video of how clear shot looks like in badminton. Start with ready position when you're standing in the center of the court. Apply a forehand grip, bend your knees lower, and keep your body facing towards your opponent. Step 1. V-back footwork. Start with pivot your racket foot clockwise toward the baseline from point A to point B. At the same time, push off your non-racket foot backward to adjust your position from point C to point D. Start with your right foot, left foot, left foot, right foot. Right, left, left, right. When you apply this footwork, at the same time, raise your racket up in the air and form a 90 degree angle on the right elbow and raise your left hand higher toward the ceiling to get a better balance as you can see in this video 90 degree angle on your right elbow and your left hand toward the ceiling step 2 scissor kick jump shift your weight to your racket foot and apply scissor kick jump to perform a clear motion while your body rotating bend your elbow facing upwards and lock your wrist backward to prepare to strike the shuttle. When ready, strike the shuttle hard by unlocking your wrist as you perform a whipping motion or throwing action. Step 3. Strike the shuttle. When you strike the shuttle, be sure to contact the shuttle at the highest point possible as you can see in this picture. For the offensive clear, contact point of your racket face to the shuttle must be flattened. And for defensive clear, contact point of your racket face to the shuttle should be more toward the ceiling. Follow through and land with your non-racket foot. As you land it, Push off with your non-racket foot forward, follow with your racket foot to return to the center. From point A to point B, point C to point D. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Left, right, left, right. And here is how it looks like in the slow motion. Pivot your right foot, apply the V-back. Jump, apply the scissor kick, and strike the shuttle, and return to the center. One, jump, hit. Pivot, 
scissor kick, strike the shadow, bounce back to the center, one, jump, hit, one, two, hit. Alright, now here are some tips on how to improve and practice your clear shot. Tips number one, practice your swing motion exercise. This is a very good exercise especially for new beginners or intermediate. This exercise will help to develop a new habit for your clear shot and proper basic swing motion for your shot. This exercise also can be used to practice not only for your clear shot but also good to practice for your drop shot and smash shot as well. Tips number two, practice throwing the shuttlecock or birdie. By applying swing motion exercise, this will help to improve your power and your timing when you make a contact with the birdie. Start with short distance, make sure you are able to throw the shuttle over the net consistently and moving backwards, repeat the same exercise until you are able to throw the shuttle from the baseline passing over to the net of your opponent's court. Tips number three, practice your scissor kick jump. This exercise will help you to get behind the shuttle or body quickly and to generate more power from your upper body as you rotate your body and to have a smooth transition so that you can return to the center quickly. Tips number four, tune your shot timing with string and the birdie. The purpose of this exercise is to improve your shot timing and to get a proper contact point. This is another great exercise for beginners and intermediate because most of beginners tend to hit the shuttle at low contact point. They tend to drop their elbow or they even swing the racket sideways. That can cause them to slice the shuttle and the shot will not be able to go very far. But by applying this exercise, they are enforced to hit the shuttle at the highest point possible, or else they will miss the shot. Tips number five, V-back footwork. This exercise is to allow you to get behind the shuttle quickly so that you can have a better position, because when you have a better position, most likely you will produce a better shot quality. This exercise will also allow you to recover to the center quickly so that you can prepare for the next shot. Tips number six, drills and rally. This drill exercise is to help you to improve on your shot accuracy, shot consistency, and your endurance. It depends on how long you do it for each exercise. You can find a teammate, partner, or coach. Rally clear to each other from one direction to another direction, as you can see in this video. Alright, that's it for today's coaching video for clear shot in badminton. I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoy it. I will see you next time.